I'll also explain what I did to successfully dissolve my own job, how I did it, why I turned down more money to stay, and why I'm starting my own company. You should never risk being remarkable just to be safe and comfortable. And if you study any economic book these days, you'll see that the industrial age is dying and the connection economy is on the rise. If you're going to make something, make something special that's for some people. Because if you make something for everybody, no one's going to be gung-ho about it. Because something for everybody's going to be boring. The best companies grow when they focus on getting more products for their loyal customers and not getting every customer they can. Jim Stengel explains this beautifully in Grow. Now doing something that is both safe and comfortable is actually the riskiest thing you can do. And the very thing that you're afraid of is actually your one opportunity to make a difference. You have to evaluate risk. And sometimes you have to think about that. But in the end, it's always good to just follow your intuition. Here's the thing, you don't just want to market for the sake of marketing. Market something that has truth and can stand up to scrutiny. Now when you make cheap products, people think you're lazy. So that's why it's always important to get customer feedback, very much like what's talked about in the Lean Startup Method by Ed Reeves. Now it's important to spend less time talking about things and more time doing things that are worth being talked about. That's a key to being remarkable. It's about doing. Now, great marketing does not mean you have a great product. If you mix a gallon of crap with a gallon of ice cream, you're going to have two gallons of crap. Now, either start delivering great products or exceptional customer service. Just like in... Damn it. Just be remarkable. There it is, Mind Loomers. The Mind Loom Book of the Week. Purple Cow by Seth Godin. Go be remarkable. It's drink time. Cheers. Adam, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm shooting a Mind Loom video. God. Obviously. Well, I mean, knock. You've been doing all day, man. We're I about mean, to launch a product, and you've been doing this yeah, all day. No, this is important. I mean, I gotta read You never books. pick up all your books what about people in my house. I can pick the books wherever I want. You're supposed to no, no, I, I was. I, what meeting? There was no. I look. Look, let me show you when it, what I do when we finish the books. How about that? Fine. Mind Loom. Isn't this great? This is awesome! You're getting lost in the sauce! As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. My co-founder Adam for PS Mister, and that was Mind Loom. Now that didn't move all day, not even once. Now that's remarkable. That's a purple cow. Plato would often take walks with his students. Some of his best philosophies came from it. My co-founder Adam and I are taking a walking meeting before getting back to work.